Gospel of the Lord, September the 26, 2013, Luke 9, 7, 9. Meanwhile, Herod the Tetrarch had heard about all that was going on, and he was puzzled, because some people were saying that John had risen from the dead, others that Elijah had reappeared, still others that one of the ancient prophets had come back to life. But Herod said, John, I beheaded him. So who is this I hear such reports about? And he was anxious to see him. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We see the power of this world, puzzled at the presence of Jesus. The King Herod cannot understand what is going on. And we can have a clue when he is hearing that some people say that John had risen from the death. Others talked about Elijah or some other prophet. But he by himself, for himself, said, John, I beheaded him. Like, if this mundane, if this worldly power could control or could have any power over the heavenly power, over God. But to this king, to this mundane king, who cannot would not accept a higher power than himself, other than Rome, perhaps. It's absolutely puzzling. He blocks the thought of God. He despises the idea, even though he was the king of the Jews, and he should have been open to God. He would have had to be open because he had, by law, to learn about the prophets and the law. He had to know about God. He had to know about the prophets. But he was closed in himself. He would not open to the miracles of God himself in the person of Jesus. He is asking himself, who is this I hear such reports about in the level of a human person? Who is this person, this human person? He cannot be open to the bigger question. Who is really this that I hear that cures, that throws the demons out of the people, that gives back life? Who is this? Who can do that? Who can forgive the sins? We see how the pridefulness, how the vanity of the power in the world basically hardens our understanding and makes our mind to shut, to close down, unable to stand up and look upward to heaven, to God. This is what's happening to Herod. But the question today is this, who is this I hear such reports about? From your personal position, from whatever you can answer about Jesus Christ, is where you stand, you and I stand before him. If we, if we say that he was just a historic person, that he was a good man, but we fail to say that he is the Son of God, eternal, incarnated, that he is God himself, doing good among us, that he came to assume our being, our human existence, to save us, to redeem us, and to open the glory of heaven for us. If we fail to say so, to recognize Jesus, then we are failing to be true Christians. Let us look at our, think, at our thoughts at what we believe. Let us look at it intently and carefully that we may not fall into the stance of this King Herod or anything shorter than declaring, just as St. Paul says, anyone who knows deep in his heart that Jesus is the Lord and proclaims that from his mouth will be saved. Because the faith that it's a gift from God goes directly into your conscience 
namely your heart in Semitic terms. And that faith, if it's true, if it concords, accords with your will, will move you to act in concordance, in agreement, outside. What you have in your conscience will be lived every day. May God, our Father, merciful, grant us His Holy Spirit that we might look and know who really His Son is. God bless you all, brothers.